What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And in this series, we're creating a lab for learning cybersecurity skills. And we'll learn some networking skills and basics of system administration and network security monitoring. In this video, we're going to install PFSense in ESXi. This video is optional. Again, I repeat, this video is optional for those people who do not have the capacity to have a physical PFSense appliance. If you have a physical of PFSense appliance, please consider skipping this video. This is only optional and, and we're going to configure ESXi networking within PFSense. Then we'll connect our domain controller that we have already deployed into this new network. Then we we'll set up DNS and DHCP in this new network. Before we proceed, we need to understand a few things here. Why would we choose this? It's easier for you to take some snapshots of your machine, your PFSense before you make any changes. Uh, you can save on hardware cost. You can have multiple PF senses, multiple networks within your ESXi. Um, it might reduce latency. I'm not sure about that one. It's easy to set up with VLANs. And the disadvantage is if your firewall is dead and you virtualize it, you lose the ability to access the virtual environment. In, a, in that way, you might need to go through your WAN interface. Performance might be impacted and also it takes away from that experience of learning real world environments where most people have firewalls that are separate from their servers. So my first priority will be for you to learn the best and the easiest way possible. So if you can, please have a separate firewall that's on its own hardware. That's what I highly suggest. But if you do not have that capacity or if you just want to make sure that you uh, virtualize everything, this is the way to do it. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to have two virtual switches. My server that I have here, if I go to my physical NIX, you see that I have seven physical interfaces. And this one right here, NIC number four, is connected to my home network. So you want one of these interfaces to be connected to your home network, and that's going to be your WAN interface. And if it's connected to your home router, this is going to be net net network address translation so you get an ip address from your home into this as your one then you need another one that is going to be your LAN that goes out to a switch so that's what we are doing here and then uh in order to achieve that we need to create two virtual switches so i'm adding two standard switches and i'm going to name this one one and this switch in vmware is going to be connected to my interface that is connected to my house for the WAN and add then I will add another switch this is a virtual switch and this is going to be named LAN and this one I'm going to connect it to number five and add in addition to that if you don't want to deal with a physical switch outside and stuff like that you can still use a port group but I encourage you to use a physical switch outside that way you can have external storage and maybe you want to connect other things like wi-fi to a switch outside so that's why that uh, LAN needs to be connected to a switch outside instead of just keeping it inside then we need two port groups and the first port group i'm going to name it one and this is going to be connected of course to the one interface and this this port group is what our virtual machines are going to be seeing and then add in fact, I want to edit this so that it's all caps to maintain some consistency in my naming. Let's save it. Then let's add another port group and name it LAN. And this one will be connected to the LAN switch and add. All right, now that we have this, all we need to do is install our PFSense connected to these two interfaces and everything. Now we just need to create a new virtual machine, new virtual machine and next. I'm following the documentation from here. And as you can see, it's free BSD 64 bit. So let's go ahead here and say PFSense 01. And then here is going to be other and it's free bsb free bsd here um and there's multiple according to our documentation it should just be free bsd 64 bit so let's go ahead and choose okay next in fact 
let's google it pfsense version what version do they use and now we have uh, 12 so yeah let's go ahead and use cpus i want you to have two cpus i want you to have four gigs of ram if you have more than four sometimes you might run into issues and i want you to have 80 gigs on the hard drive i do not want a usb and i want an additional network adapter in this case this is going to be my WAN network adapter one network adapter two is going to be my LAN. for my cd i want to browse my data store you should have up already uploaded the pfsense iso it should be in the iso folder but mine is outside the next and finish this is going to create a pfsense appliance then let's start this machine we should start very quickly then we'll open the console and here the process of installing pfsense is pretty much identical to what we did earlier on physical hardware as you will see here let's accept and install pfsense let's continue the default guided this is what we did last time so you should be familiar with the installation for pfsense the only difference is that we just created those virtual switch and port groups so if you want your virtual machines to connect to this pfsense you going to join to the lan port group so that traffic doesn't leave v vmware it just goes from lan the lan interface is what we're going to be using for connecting all of our virtual machines to this pfsense all right so once the installation is done just go here and say yes and this is going to actually I did not want to get in the shell. Let's exit here. And this is going to reboot our PFSense firewall. It says, uh, should VLANs be set? Yes or no? I'm going to say no. Enter one interface. A4 auto detect. So let's we have VMX1 or A, VMX0 and VMX1. So the best way to do this to make sure that the interfaces are actually correct is let's look at the MAC address here. The first one ends with 8A. Let's go and check it out. So if we go here on the network adapters, let's check the MAC address. 8A is connected to 1. As you can see right here in, in little gray here so now i know that vmx0 enter the LAN interface or a for auto detect this is vmx1 that's the LAN. and yes i want to proceed that's what i just chose so the goal is my one interface should get an ip address in the range one and two one six eight five dot something that's my home my house network so yours will get your own house network whatever the network is all right as you can see my my home sure enough came with one and two one six eight five dot ninety zero zero okay so what i want to do here is set up this interface so for my LAN, if i wanted the ip address to set up so let's set interface ip address let's say two this is where you can say now enter the number number of interface i want it to be on the line two and enter the new line ip address this will be one and two then i slash 24 okay we don't we don't want to do that do you want to enable dhcp on the line you want to say yes but i'm going to say no was mine is already on, on my lab do you want to revert http web configurator yes and there we go that's how we set up pfsense so if we come here let's cancel and pick a virtual machine here dc01 and let's console to it and see if we can connect to this new network all right, so now that we are in our virtual machine, remember it's connected to our PFSense. 
I can now go here, open network and sharing. I don't have DHCP enabled, so I'm going to manually set, set, set the IP address here. Try again, open network and sharing, adapter settings. Then we can say properties, IPv4. I want to use 8.38 and I'm going to give this one 201. Subnet mask, that is the one, and it's 192.168.38.1. Preferred DNS, let's give this one Google and say okay. Okay. And yes, it found the new network. So now, right, there is our PFSense. So sign in with admin and PFSense. Uh, yes, it's saying, would you like to say next? Let's go ahead and say next. My host name is going to be router01 dot to have a philip tpi dot local so that's the name of the pfsense router actually let's put it here tpi dot local let's just say leave everything the same way here and next here we want central center time so america chicago and next that's my time zone, you need to put yours. On the WAN, we're going to leave the same here, say yes. Let's remove these, because this is a virtual network. And next. The LAN IP addresses, yep. Then change the admin password. And reload. All right, so we are done with power, uh, our PFSN setup. So every machine that you are going to deploy in your ES, ESXi, make sure that it connects to the PFSense LAN interface. And that's going to be the LAN network. So if we go to uh, our network, any machine that is going to be connected to this LAN is going to be connected to PFSense. And this network is isolated. So thank you for joining me. I uh, will see you next time when you proceed with the lab.